We have breaking news this morning from Pfizer. The pharmaceutical company has released data from its trials for a potential maternal vaccine against the common respiratory virus, RSV. That's a vaccine given during pregnancy. Pfizer says the vaccine was 81% effective against severe illness in the first 90 days of a newborn's life. That number then drops to about 69% during the first six months of a child's life. Pfizer says the vaccines also pose no safety concerns during these trials and it plans to submit the first regulatory application by the end of the year. If approved, it would be the first maternal vaccine on the market. Let's bring in NBC News medical contributor Dr. Kavita Patel to help walk us through this breaking news. Doctor, good to have you with us. I mean, how much of a game changer could this be? We've been talking so much about RSV and how is this vaccine able to help babies really from the moment that they're born? Joe, this is a huge game changer. We do not have an, a vaccine for RSV for anybody, including infants. And it's incredibly important to administer it early, which is why this vaccine is administered during pregnancy, so that there's time for the mother to develop antibodies that can be passed on to the infant so that it can be the most effective the moment the baby is born. And that's because we see RSV severely affecting infants in that zero to kind of 12 month time frame, Joe. It also affects older adults, and, and Pfizer has had a readout on the same vaccine for older adults. So this is good news all around, but especially for young children as we're filling up pediatric hospitals around the country right now. Yeah, doctor, I mean, remind us of how serious of an illness RSV can be for babies. What happens inside the respiratory system and why are newborns so vulnerable? Yeah. Yeah, so this can be a very mild cold in many people. And in fact, the majority of RSV cases we see are nothing more than what feels like a nuisance, Joe. So a cold that lasts for many days, but in younger children and especially older adults, we can see it attack the very small airways. So at the tippy tippy ends of the lungs, and it can cause an inflammation that's also called bronchiolitis. And it's a very common inflammation in RSV infections that land babies in the hospital especially if you have chronic conditions. And again, remember, this is something that you can't just take care of at home. So you do need to bring the baby into the hospital where they often need assistance to help them breathe. This can also put them at risk for other diseases down the line. So we can prevent this. This is just a huge game changer. On average, we can see over 60,000 hospitalizations just in younger children alone. Combine that with older adults, we're talking hundreds of thousands of hospitalizations we might be able to prevent. That's a huge number right there. And doctor, uh, yeah. the company here is Pfizer. We know Pfizer has been at the forefront of creating the COVID vaccine series from those initial two doses to the boosters. Has the technology used in that vaccine played any role in this one here? Not necessarily the technology, but the insights. And just to build, we, this has been research that was first developed and helped funded by the NIH. So you see some themes here, right? We have a public investment, the private sector partners with the public investment, and then really helps it to take off. What is common about the COVID and RSV vaccines is that these are both vaccines that use a bivalent, the booster, which uses two types of COVID strains, and the RSV vaccine, also bivalent, using two subunits of the RSV vaccine. Both vaccines are different technologies, but develop antibodies against a protein that helps the RSV virus attach into the body and cause an infection, just like with the COVID vaccine, helping to develop antibodies against that spike protein to prevent it from attaching. So a lot that we can learn on and lean on and a lot that we have to thank for science and research all around. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.